Welcome to my lesson about the isolated pawn. I am Attila Turzo, an international chess master from Hungary. In this lesson I will show you ideas about how to attack when you have an isolated pawn and I will show you plans which you can use when your opponent has an isolated pawn. An isolated pawn is a lonely pawn. It has no neighbor pawn. It can be defended only by pieces. The f3 knight, the e3 bishop, the d1 rook and the a4 queen can defend the d4 isolated pawn. Let us look a position with an isolated pawn and discuss the plans for both players. White has an isolated pawn on d4. It is isolated because white has no pawns on the C or on the E file, which could defend the D4 pawn. What are the advantages of the isolated pawn? It gives space for the white pieces, D1, D2, and D3 are available for maneuvers. The d4 pawn can be used for exchange the e6 pawn to gain control over the d5 square. d4 d5, e takes d5, knight 3, 3 takes d5, and the white knight is very well placed in the center. The second advantage of the isolated pawn. It controls the c5 and e5 squares, which squares can be used by the white pieces, especially by the knights, for outposts. What are the typical plans for the player with the isolated pawn? Which plans based on these advantages? First, the open and semi-open C and E files can be used by the rooks. The third rank can be used by the rooks to move to g3 or h3 to attack the black king. Plan 3. The d4 pawn can be pushed to break the black defense. To get control on the d5 square, open the d file and the A2 G8 diagonal. Plan 4. The D4 pawn controls the C5 and the E5 squares, which can be used by knights as an outpost, and they can be sacrificed on E6 and on F7. to help the attack against the king. Plan 5. White can attack the queen side by the c5 and e5 knights and over the c file. Plan number 6. White can push the F pound to F5 to open the way for the F rook. Plan 
plan number seven, white can push the H pawn to weakening the black king. by h4, h5, or playing h5, h6. Plan number 8. White can use the bishop-queen battery at the b1, h7 diagonal to attack the black king. Plan number 9. A bishop or a knight can be sacrificed on g7, on h7, or on h6 to break the defense of the black king. Bishop takes g7, or bishop takes h7, or possible to sacrifice a knight on g7, a knight on h6, or a bishop on h6. What are the typical plans for the player who plays against the isolated pawn? First, he would like to block and fix the isolated pawn by putting a piece front of it on d5. Knight f6 d5 and knight d7 b6 d5 and knight c6 b4 d5 are typical knight maneuvers to block the d4 pawn. Number two, he would like to exchange pieces and go to an end game where he can attack and win the fixed isolated pawn. He can also defend the d4 pawn by other pieces, example with the queen or with the bishop or with the rook. In this position, black can play knight to d5 to offer the exchange of the bishops and go to a better endgame. In this lesson, I would like to show you two examples about these plans. One game from white and one game from black's point of view. In the first game, White push the d-pawn to get the d5 square and open the diagonal for the bishop to attack the f7 square and the black king. It was played by two Spanish players, Jesus Maria de la Villa Garcia, Grandmaster, played with white, and Marcelino Sion Castro, International Master, played with black. The game was played in Lyon in 1995. White started with e4. Black played c5, the, the Sicilian defense. White played c3, the Alepin variation. He wanted to build up a big power center with d4 move. Black played d5. E takes d5, queen takes d5, d4, knight f6, bishop e3, e6, knight f3, c takes d4. White captured the d4 pawn by his pawn and accepted the isolated pawn. Knight c6, knight c3. Both players are developing. Queen d6. a3. White prevents the knight b4 
D5 blockade plan. Bishop E7, Bishop D3, Black castled, White castled, Rook D8, Rook E1, B6, Queen E2, Bishop B7, Rook A D1, G6, Bishop B1, Rook A C8. Bishop a2. White prepares to play d4, d5 to eliminate the e6 pawn and to open the a2, g8 diagonal for the bishop to attack the black king and the e5 for the rooks and the queen. Black played rook e8 here, but instead of rook e8, black should play knight d5 to block the d4 pawn with the knight. Instead of knight d5, played rook e8. Please stop the video now and try to find the best move for white. d4, d5. By this move, white eliminates the, CC, the e6 pawn and opens the diagonal for the bishop and the file for the queen and the rook. Black captured the pawn with his pawn. Knight captured on d5. Knight captures d5. Bishop takes d5. The black queen should move away from the d-file because the white rook is threatening to capture the queen after the white bishop moves. Here the right move would be queen f6 because there the queen would be close to his king and also would defend the f7 pawn. Instead of queen f6, black moved to b8 with the queen. After queen b8, white played bishop h6. The pressure is so high, there is no defense. Bishop takes f7, king takes f7, queen c4, checkmate is the threat. Black moved the knight to d4, which not helped him, but also the other way to try to defend the f7 pawn with knight d8 would be not enough to save the game. Let us look what can white do. White has a very strong move, Queen takes e7, sacrificing the queen for the attack. Rook takes e7, rook takes e7. Black has two options. If he plays bishop c6 to cover the e8 square, because white was threatening rook e8 checkmate, then knight e5, Queen d6, knight takes c6, knight e6, bishop f3. All the white pieces are defended, and white has a rook and two bishops against the black queen, which is a big advantage. If we go back to move 22, after rook takes e7, Black can also try to play knight e6, but then the white attack will be 
very powerful after bishop takes e6, f takes e6, and rook d d7. The black king cannot be saved. After bishop takes f3, white plays rook g7 check, king f8, rook takes h7, king g8, rook d g7 check, king f8, rook h8 checkmate. So let us go back on move 20, when white played knight bishop h6. In the game, black moved the knight to d4. This way, he can force the exchange of a strong d5 bishop, but it costs a piece. After rook takes d4, bishop f8, white played bishop e3, white saved the h6 bishop and the e2 queen in the same time, and because white has an extra knight, black resigned. In the second game, black exchanged the minor pieces and, and created pressure against the isolated pawn. The game was played in the World Championship match between Anatoly Karpov and Viktor Korshnoy in Merano in 1981. We will look the game from Black's point of view. White started with c4. Black replied with e6. Knight c3. d5. d4. Bishop e7. Knight f3. Knight f6. Bishop g5. H6, Bishop H4, castling, Rook C1, D takes C4, E3, C5, Bishop takes C4, C takes D4, here white can decide to accept the isolated pawn or capture on D4 by a queen or with the knight, but he captured with the e pawn. So there is an isolated pawn now on d4. Black played knight c6, white castled, knight h5. Black tries to exchange the pieces to get a better end game where he can attack and capture the isolated pawn. Bishop takes e7. Knight takes e7. Bishop b3. Black played knight f6. White played knight e5. Bishop d7. Both players are developing all their minor pieces. Queen e2. Rook c8. Here the right move would be rook fd1. White should avoid the exchange of the minor pieces. Instead, he moved the knight to e4. It is a mistake, which helps black to go to the direction of a better endgame. Knight takes e4. Queen takes e4. Bishop c6. Knight takes c6. It helps again 
for black to go to the end game. Rook takes c6. In this position, the best move for white would be rook takes c6 because after b takes c6, the position is around equal because both the d4 and the c6 pawns are weak. If black captures with the knight on c6, then after d5, e takes d5, bishop takes d5, white has a small advantage because the bishop is better when the pawns are on both wings. Let us go back to move 19. White played rook c3. Black played queen d6. And g3, rook d8, rook d1. Rook b6. Black prevents the exchange of the rooks and plans to increase the pressure against the d4 isolated pawn. Queen e1, queen d7, rook c d3, rook d6. The pressure increased. Queen e4, Queen c6, Queen f4, Knight d5, Queen d2, Queen b6. Black plans to attack the d3 rook by Knight b4. The rook need to defend the isolated pawn. In this position, a3 would be the best move because it would prevent knight b4. Instead of a3, white captured the d5 knight with bishop takes d5. White gave up the bishop and allowed black to increase the pressure on d4. Black would like to attack the d4 pawn by e6, e5, if white plans to play f4 to prevent e6, e5, then the white king will be weak. White moved rook b3, queen c6, queen c3, queen d7, f4, pawn b6, rook b4, b5. Here white played e4, but instead rook b3 would be better. The white rook need to be ready to defend the king side and the d4 pawn. Instead of that, white moved a4, b takes e4, queen a3, a5, rook takes a4, queen b5, rook d2. Please stop the video. This is the next exercise. Please try to find the best move for black. e6, e5. Black attacks the d4 pawn and ready to exchange the f pawn to weakening the white king. f takes e5, rook takes e5, queen a1. Please stop the video again and try to find the best move for black. Queen e8. Black is threatening to play rook e1 to win the white queen. White captured on e5 with the d pawn. 
black captured on d2 with the rook rook takes a5 queen c6 very strong move the cooperation of the black queen and the rook wins the game rook takes a8 check king h7 queen b1 check g6 queen f1 black played queen c5 check king h1 queen d5 check black wins the rook white resigned in this lesson we studied two games about plans in a position with an isolated pawn in the first game White was able to push and exchange the isolated pawn to open the position and make a winning attack against the black king. In the second game, black was able to exchange the minor pieces and fix the isolated pawn. Black built up a great pressure against the isolated pawn. White weakened its own king's position and black won with a mating attack. I wish you enjoyed the lesson and learned new ideas. If you would like to learn more plans about how to attack with an isolated pawn and how to attack your opponent's isolated pawn, then please join my webinar. Thank you for your attention. See you soon.